All right, my name's Nigel. Welcome to Frams and Forge YouTube. Let's go and have a look, see what's going on, boy. Hi, uh, welcome back to Frams and Forge. I'm going to give you a little show of all the tools we made and the new Amyang ST Power Hammer, the new improved model. It is a cracking little hammer. I'll show you around it. Right, oh yeah, there's a little display here of some of the things that we sell. We've got the new Forge Force Induction, induction heaters for blacksmiths. We use them all the time. You'll find all this stuff on our website. There's a 25 kilowatt there, there's a 45 kilowatt which I use, which is my one I've brought out to show you. And it's on a roller stand with a double cooling unit and a manifold on the back. Runs really lovely. There's a 25 kilowatt there, which is my one. These are new 25 kilowatt ones. I've brought these out so you can see how I mount them in a frame. And then down here I've got my new um, coolant for them. It's special coolant designed for induction heaters. It doesn't fur up inside the machine. Do not use TIG cooler. It furs up in the machine, crystallizes and blocks your machine. Down here are some of the hammers we make. Oh, it's like a market trader. Isn't it? Down here are some of the hammers we make. And these are different hammers. You'll find them on our website. And our new die system, which is covered in dirt. <coughs> I'll just wipe it off. That's our new die system, Barnet Bottom Dies. You will find them on the internet. This is our new anvils. We're now making anvils to sell. Victory Tools, Norfolk. And as you walk around, these are some of the tongs that we make here. Everything's made in the UK. Doming blocks, bladesmith tongs, furnace tongs, scrolling tongs, crude tongs. There's all different types. We make to order. Some more hammers, cross pane hammers more induction heaters and a double cooling unit this is a 25 kilogram amyang st this is the older style hammer i'll show you the difference with the new one now when we sell all our hammers they come with a side exit exhaust so it quiets them down a bit for you guys that are at home and, and you're trying to keep the noise down so they do quiet them a little bit of baffle also we make a motor guard on the back which i'll show you in a minute they all come with a free foundation mat so it's anti-vibration mat to take some more noise out of them. So we'll try and get them as quiet as we can. And then when people are doing work in their sheds, they're not annoying their neighbors. Right, this is a totally new Amyang ST. They are great guys. I think they've done it now. Every time we tell them an improvement, they're doing it. And what they've done now, they've now made the castings 25% thicker than any other hammer on the market. You'll tell the new model, it's got a lug on the front and you'll see it's got a boss on the side much more heavier it makes the hit much better and it makes them a much quieter machine they have the long ram style the same as a beche and in my workshop i have a 1958 burns dorfer hammer which is the same long ram design it's been out for years it's nothing new a lot of hammers have got it but they're improving anything they can to make their hammers better another thing which they've cracked now is Years ago, there was a lot of filler in the hammers. What they've done now is there's hardly any filler whatsoever in the hammer. They do a really, really good quality casting. You'll tell ST, so ST cast and the castings on the side. This is our motor guards, which come with the hammers. So they protect the motor. Most of us lean metal up in our workshop and it's a nightmare if it falls over and it hits your electric motor and then destroys the motor on your hammer. So we place a guard on them. And with all our hammers come spares and a little toolbox. I'll get one out and I'll show you. All the hammers comes a little box, instruction manual in there and guarantee. I'm a bit like a market trader really, I have to get a new job. And there's a little toolbox. I keep my tools on the back of the hammer, that's why we made the little guard there. Don't rattle around too much, they're all right. Now you get a grease gun and then in there is your spare dies, spare piston rings and all the parts that come with the hammer. Now they've done really well at Amyang's, at really smart the ST people. What we said to them was, make your hammer as best you can. Don't get in price battles with other manufacturers, make yours a better product. And believe me, they're doing it. They're cracked it now, I can't fault it. We need to straight out the case. All we've done is put our motor guards on the back and I run them up for about six hours, fill them with oil and then out they go. Well, this is a new thing that's coming out. I'm gonna do another film on it and a, a load of videos of how we use them. This will really speed up everybody's forging. But this is my new design, Barnet Bottom Dies. My tools lock into the, into the tub. 
Now what I'm going to do is later on in another video, I'll show you these fitted to the hammer. You don't have to change any of your dies. All your tools will lock into this die block and then you can work one handed on your own. I designed this because I got fed up with my apprentice coming in with a hangover from the night before and couldn't work and I ended up working on my own. So I've done this for years. I do this on my Massey as well. It's a cracking idea, but keep watching our YouTube channel and you'll see and I'll keep showing you more and more things that will help you all work. Right, one of the other things about all the ST hammers is they're great. They're all one piece hammers. You don't need a massive foundation on your floor. Rub them out underneath and you can run them. They do run on single phase, the little ones do. You can get a 25 run on single phase as well. If you're industrial forging and you're running heavy all the time, you're better off with a phase inverter. But I've got hammers that we've sold out there with 240 motors on them and they're fine. I run my hammer eight, nine, 10 hours a day. So if you're gonna run them really heavy, you best go for three phase. The motors are really good quality. Thank you for watching and keep watching our videos. There you go, there's a little intro into the Amiang ST, there is many other things that we do, so if you look on our website, it's changing all the time. Hurry up, hurry up! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> I'm getting down. The risk assessment is don't fall off.